Alright guys, so uh, we cannot get a B width uh, for the size we need here. So uh, it'll be a C width. We're going to come down. It's also going to be taller. So we're going to do an 18 inch base by 23 and a half wide. One thing we could do is we could probably, so we can still service the unit, since it's going to be wider than it is deep, we can actually turn it on its, on its base to make the front come off here. It'll give us a little bit less room. We have to come over this way. The line set's already wrapped around anyways. So we'll just shorten that a bit. We don't have to replace the line set. We are able to cut into, as you can see, you can see where, in there, where the um, joist is. So we can cut over an extra couple inches to be closer to the joist. So we'll actually start our new unit back here. That'll give us enough width to be able to squeeze in a filter. And uh, we'll have to just redo this fitting. But you can see what they made here. They made this 90 to go into the return. So you're going to have to cut into this a little bit. Just try to go to the joist only if possible. Uh, it's, eventually this will be a mechanical area. But we're going to still try to limit the amount of width we have to take up on that. Other than that, drain we can blow out because it goes under the floorboards. I think under this joist here. We already have an EIM and an IAQ thermostat. So we'll just need... I don't even know if we'll need any arm because we should have enough wires coming up. But that should be everything.